I really don't think the Gemma's Buck release could have come at a better time for me. I was grinding Hirschfeld for so long prior to a rifle season, trying to get a diamond, and just no luck, and I'm very burnt out on that map. So now we have Verhunga, and we're going to be able to take a little break from that and try to get a diamond Gems Buck. So we've got a level 4 out here, which will be a decent can check. I think the last thing I did was stream this, so I really have no idea. I probably don't have consec if I remember properly. So if he bends down to feet again, I am using the 7 mil instead of the 3.38. Just because, like, I trust the accuracy of this far more than the 3.38. I've just had issues with it. I don't know if there's maybe a little more sway because it's a heavier gun. I'm not sure what it is that I don't like about it, but I'll take the 7 mil over the 3.38 for pretty much anything these days. But we either have a gold or no consec, and it's almost full consec. 80%, but that would have just been a gold, I believe. Decent, though. We now have consec anyway. This dude's just coming in. I haven't even called him. I might as well use the crossbow on him. Maybe not spook some that could be around here that I haven't seen yet. Let's see if we can just pop his spine there. Sweet. That one should be a gold. I think he's a good-sized fork. Ah, uh, not quite. 784. But we did alert another one, but not spook him by using the crossbow. So that somewhat works out. I gotta be honest, I'm spending way too much time going after the males on these. I did that on stream, and I'm already doing it again today. Really, the females are the ones that are getting diamond more consistently, but it's just like a, a reflex. Hear a male call or get a heavy male track, immediately follow it, and that's not really the way to go. I mean, you can get male diamonds, but females seem to be diamond way more consistently. But yeah, I'm kind of sticking with single player for now. I'll probably do multiplayer server hopping once I kind of get to know my map a little better. Jeez, hi. Alright then. That went a lot better than I thought it would. Hey, how you doing? Alright. <laughs> that was a spine shot. Okay. 4.29 meters. Don't even worry about it. What was I going to say? Yeah, yeah. When I, when I kind of hunt my map and either convince myself that it's not very likely to spawn a diamond gems buck or if I just need a break but there's also this part of me that kinda doesn't really want to find a di diamond gems buck like this video because I want something to switch back and forth like switch between Hirschfelden and Verhunga for the different diamonds we need because then like if I just kill a diamond gems buck this video or like the the second hunt whatever I'm right back to grinding nothing but Hirschfelden for probably a long time until something new comes out although we do have what seems to be some kind of hinting uh with those postcards on Hirschfeld and then Leighton that could be something new but who knows how far off that is they're kind of everywhere right now I haven't seen anything too impressive I mean jeez they're just everywhere I don't know we're just gonna shoot one that's a tiny one compared to the rest there's a decent three really yep just walk on through wait all right i almost hit that other one on the back end i think jeez but they're all like the same size i couldn't like i didn't see any that were noticeably larger i know the uh the diamond females that should be pretty obvious but they were all roughly the same eh, this was a decent one a gold even, 806. At least we got one of the better ones out of the herd. There was a 170 track, so I guess there could have been a better one even. I actually think this three might be a gold. There's a, a four there. But we haven't had the dark variant yet. And of course a four is not going to be any kind of diamond anyway, so we'll take that. I really... I'm not sure what happened, but I swear everything runs significantly slower since the update. I'm not sure if that is intentional. Maybe it's like trying to make running shots just a tad bit easier or whatever, but I know it throws me off because now I, I can't uh, time it right. I'm shooting too far ahead of everything. But this was a gold 853, even a, a pretty big level 3. Not bad. We haven't even had a very big four yet. I'm really not even sure that that's a gold. Like, he's barely a four. That felt low. 
I don't know if that was Lombard Spine. He actually got up and ran a little bit. But it's already starting to make me want to do multiplayer server hopping. As I said, the weird thing is, like, as much as I want a Diamond Gems buck, because I think they're cool, and of course I'm trying to get a Diamond of everything, I also don't want to get it so quickly. Like, I want to get at least one of the Hirschfelden Diamonds first, just so I have something to switch back and forth between. But as I said at the beginning, I really just needed a break from that map. And once again, too small, 789. I think we've only had gold level 3 females. Every level 4 male we shot was too small. That's probably the biggest one, the one I've got like the reticle on, I can't seem to spot it. Go ahead and try to get that one. Uh, was that too low? Oh, it wasn't. I just had the wrong one spotted. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's a gold. I don't think that was beige. That's a gold. I don't know if that's a straight up rare, but they're extremely uncommon. And it's a four, so if we could get a gold gold, that would be pretty sweet. He doesn't look massive, but maybe. But before we go and shoot that, this was actually a silver 792. I think that still has our biggest three being all females, because I'm pretty sure that 70, 789 was the biggest male we shot. Bad thing is the wind is really not cooperating and that gold was trying to get back where he came from, so we'll take our time, see if we can get him, because as I said, I think that might actually be a rare. Oh, that's probably him. I can see just a little movement back there. Straight downwind. We're going to get the 7 mil ready, because if he pops out... Any kind of broadside will probably go for it. That is him. And that is a gold. Oh, that's so cool. And he's down. That's pretty sweet, man. Hey, uh, how you doing? All right. Definitely need some screenshots of that. Go ahead and turn tracks off as we go. Did that? Ah, oh, it is down here further. I think they did add like a different setting or fixed a setting or something in this recent update as well. But these look sweet. Just a really unique, unique color. Instead of the, uh, the normal brown markings on the face, they're white. That looks so cool. I'm so glad we got that. All right. It is a gold gold. That's so cool. 829. Just a really neat looking animal, man. I'm so happy with that. That made my hunt. I'm kind of good now. Um, I can wait a while before we get a diamond. That was, that was awesome. That was one of the ones I really wanted. I saw at least one screenshot of one from the beta. And in the meta, we, in one video, we had a gold gray common and dark and beige, I think. So now we have a gold gold as well. I don't know what, like, other rares there are. There might be melanistic and albino. I don't know that for sure, but let me know if you guys have had a gold one. I want to know if that's actually a rare or just a variation. Okay, that was a little bit strange. A lot of weird stuff going on in this video, actually. And as I'm recording this, it was literally just revealed by EW a new content clue. And it's an image with some trees that actually, to me, somewhat resemble the trees here on Brahunga Savannah. That's interesting. Now, we could, with the, uh, the lilac fields and stuff, I just had my phone, I have no idea where... Our Gemsbuck is, I think he's down here, yeah. The lilac fields and stuff, that could be just an image, like, trying to show that we're getting a new map. These trees would certainly lead me to believe that that is an image from the map, and it looks, it looks kind of like Rahunga. As I said, we might maybe be getting a second Africa map. I mentioned that a long time ago. I thought that could be a possibility that we get a second Africa map with a bunch of other species, but... 
I don't know. It could be a lot of things. I didn't look at it too closely. As I said, just saw it on my phone as I was running over here and had to tell you guys about it. But that was another goal at 814. Started slow, but we're really picking up now. So I'm just looking at the underbrush on that image as well. As we have what I think is a diamond kudu scooting around out here. And I could definitely see it being some kind of African thing. But I could also see it fitting as a North American reserve. Some of that actually could fit. It's so hard to say from just an image. But again, I, I know I just asked you guys to let me know about one thing. The gold gemsbuck. But what do you guys think that could be? And is that actually an image of the map? Or is that just an image taken from Verhunga or wherever? Just trying to tell us maybe that it is a new map and not specifically the one that we're getting. Hopefully this guy is not a diamond. He is 85 kilos. Ah, he is. 966 even. Did they change something? 85 kilos would not have been a 966, I swear, before the update. And the horns look thicker to me. I wonder if they changed something with the kudu. I really don't think ones like that small should be scoring diamond. I've been saying that for forever. I think they should change the uh, the score you need to make diamond and make it significantly higher. But we'll take a random diamond as we're going along. This seems somewhat new as well. There were never spring buck over here. At least not that I remember. That was actually a cool death animation, but I'm like right here. I don't know that I've ever shot a spring buck right outside that lodge like quite often i've seen buffalo and wildebeest out here i don't remember once having a spring buck so it certainly does seem like a lot of stuff got changed with the recent patch so i'm just looking at this new content clue picture again as i'm running to i think what's going to be the last lake we hunt tends to be a good spot for gems buck but i realized you can actually see just a tiny bit of that lavender field just like at the edge of the tree line so as far as i know that really does not exist in africa so that kind of does rule out the idea of it being like a second africa map i really don't recognize those types of trees so honestly i have no idea what we could nothing massive looking coming in that one back there i think is ah, it's still a three i thought that might be a four female Certainly a gold, I would think. You know what we could probably get away with? It might not work, but... Oh, it did work. I thought she would certainly hear that and flee. Alright then. Now the thing is, I'm not sure that we can call her in. Because as far as I know, that only works on males. But if she'll even turn, that's really all we need. And that was why I got the gun out so fast, because I figured she would just kind of leave. Yeah, we might have to sneak back up after her, but... In theory, it should have saved us a little time anyway. But, from the level 4, we have another gold 833. I'm really happy with the way this hunt picked up after, like, the, the super slow start. That must be our female there. She kind of stopped. There is a male in that rest zone as well. I just spotted by accident. So in theory, she'll actually come back in because of the male. Oh yeah, they're up already. That should work just fine then. Really, that angle's pretty decent. I think we'll just take her right there. So... I think she'll be a gold, and if that's the case, what I really was starting to think was going to be a rather lackluster hunt turned pretty decent. We had a random diamond kudu in the middle, and we found out a good deal about what the new content is going to be. That picture obviously tells a lot more than the initial like postcard thing, but I'm really interested to know what you guys think, because, I mean, there's one of me that knows very little about the rest of the world, and a lot of you... Someone probably lives in an area much like that that can tell us a bit more, but an 851 gold Gemsbuck to end on? I didn't realize the cash these things give. That might be one of the new uh, best ways to make cash. We'll have to see about a video of that in the future. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.